Hey everybody, we are back in Rainia's kitchen. The mushrooms are taking over again. Round two. Round two. Woo. Wild mushroom tart. Oh, sounds good. So in here, you saw me earlier putting in three four ounce packages of wild mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You buy them that way, folks. They're all mixed up together, all different types I like of that. mushrooms. Chop them, but you need 12 ounces total, three packs. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then I had about a, oh, I'm gonna say a quarter stick of butter, and I sauteed them, and this pan was filled with mushrooms, and look how it's diminished into nothingness. Wow. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of chopped shallots. Mm -hmm. So I add those in next, and here I have one package of dry porcini mushrooms. I've never cooked with these. Well, let me tell you what you do. You take them out of the package and you put them in one cup of boiling water. Put a lid on it, turn off the heat, and let it sit for 30 minutes. Ooh. Don't touch it. Okay. Then you want to take them out, put them in a sieve, and rinse them a little because they are sandy. Then you line that sieve after you remove the mushrooms with cheesecloth and pour the porcini mushroom liquid through the cheesecloth to get rid of any sandy particles. So important. So much sand in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Then what you do is you chop them. And here what I'm going to do is add in about two tablespoons of brandy. Oh! Oh, yeah. And that brandy the going. rest of that porcini mushroom liquid, yeah. you should have about a cup. I'm going to season this with some salt and some pepper. And here I have two tablespoons of fresh herbs that I chopped that I'll put those in last. Don't let me forget. We won't forget the herbs. All right, now, over here, I have two egg yolks and three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. Whisk them together. Whisk, 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 whisk. Why don't you add that heavy cream? In here? Right in there, baby. Oh, yeah. That's the custard. And here, I have a plethora, and the recipe will tell you, of grated fresh Gruyere cheese. Mmm. Little bit here. Pre-baked tart shell in a removable tart shell, you know, with the bottom. Yeah, I have one of these. I know you do. Yeah. I'm gonna do about a third of a cup of the cheese, okay? Uh -huh. I might as well go ahead and add, add in my herbs. herbs. So all the liquids out, but this uh, is where you have to be a little careful. I like this device you're using. Well, it's nice because it sort of captures a lot more than the spoon. Mm -hmm. So here I go. You really have to be careful. It may not take all the custard. It's okay. That's as far as it goes. And now we're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, remove it, and allow it to cool for 15 before slicing. That's for you. Ooh. A little glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, what a great combo. It's Look a, at that. You know, it's a great lunch, or it could be a great appetizer, like a first course. Delish.